lawyer, Aunt Henry. Very. He wants to buy the farm Grandpa left us. Now, all you have to do is sign some papers and you'll get a nice big check. What did you say his name is? Henry T. McMorrow. They say it's not auspicious to do business with you today. Huh? You know, numerology. Your name has the wrong count. It comes out odd, and they can't do business on Thursday with odd people. I know just how they feel. Well, what'll we do? Well, they're your relatives. Wait a minute, what's your middle name? Oh, no. No, I don't want to tell you that. Why? Oh, oh no. Oh, please, you know how much it means to us. Well, all right. Throckmorton. Throckmorton. There, you see, Annie's even. All right. <laughs> all right. There you are. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. Glad I've met you, Miss Pemberton. And you too, Miss Pemberton. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, Aunt Pitty. Goodbye, Aunt Patty. Ready, Tony? Coming. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Now they'll have to load it all over again. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Uh, we'll be at Uncle Goliath soon. If this boiler holds out. Henry, there's something I want to tell you. What? Well, there's something I want to tell you about Uncle Goliath. Yes? Uh, Uncle Goliath is a bit eccentric. No. Yes. Uh, the family has always been a little quiet about Uncle Goliath. Well, how does Uncle Goliath go about being eccentric? Well, he thinks civilization is a failure. You don't say. Yes, he thinks everyone ought to go back to nature. He even grows his own food, except when he shoots with a bow and arrow. Yes. Lovely place your uncle has here. Oh, it's empty. Uncle Goliath doesn't live here anymore since he decided he didn't like civilization. He lives out there. Uncle Goliath! Woo! Uncle Goliath! What's that? That's Uncle Goliath. It doesn't sound very friendly. Oh, come on. Welcome, Tony. Hello, Uncle Goliath. Just been tracking down some wild game. Fine hunting hereabouts for a man who goes to the kill with nature's weapons and his own bare hands. But to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Uh, this is Henry McMorrow. How, How do you do? do? How, do, you How do? do you do? Follow me, please. This is a perfect example of the unnatural life you lead. Men weren't content to carve their records on stone. They have to invent an infernal machine loaded with ink. Uh, here you are. Oh, thanks. And now... How about some dinner? Hmm? Oh, I don't think uh, we... Uh, thank you very much, Uncle Goliath. But I'm sorry, Uncle, but we've got to be back tonight. Oh, it's raining. Well, goodbye, Uncle Goliath. Goodbye. Mmm, uh, that smells good. I almost wish I could stay for dinner. What is it, rabbit? No, snails. Sna uh, goodbye, Uncle Goliath. Goodbye. 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 Six thousand gadgets on this hack. Leave off a windshield wiper. Can you see anything? Sure, turn left. Are you all right? Fine, darling. I pointed that way. But you said turn left. Oh, did I say that? I always get right and left mixed up. I bet a lifetime with you would be very interesting. Oh, I Oh, that feels good. Yes, 
Well? Mm. Now, if we could get out of these wet clothes. We can. General, if you were in the same fix, I'd give you the shirt off my back. Can you do it? Why, the general has kindly offered to lend us his cape. Oh, isn't that sweet? So off with the old and on with the new. And I, in the very next stall, shall be doing the same. Ready to ride and spread the alarm through every middle sex, village, and farm. I like limericks much better. You do? Oh, sure. All right. There was a young lady named Tony who borrowed a coat from a pony. She said, sorry, old fellow. I have no umbrella. Came a snort from the pony, Baloney. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, said Henry, I've got good news. I found two pair of shoes. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. But how was it? Oh, just so-so. How's this one? There was a young man named McMorrow. From a horse, a blanket did borrow. It shouldn't be strange that the horse had the mange, as McMorrow will learn to his sorrow. <laughs> you got me there, Tony. <laughs> Oh, for me. First prize. <laughs> oh, ho. Your feet are on the ground. You're thinking sanely. You go about your business happy and free. And then suddenly. Your feet are on It can happen to me, it can happen to you. And when a dog... Danger, love at work. Even though you can't detect it, listen when you least expect it, it knocks you down. Danger, love at work. When you do things sort of stupid, you can bet that Mr. Cupid arrived in town. You're gonna go, you don't know when or where. You so close your windows, lock your doors. You better, better be careful. Danger, love at work. It's that old familiar story. When you think that night is glorious, there's the star. So don't you think that you're too smart for? You slip and fall and break your heart. Close your windows, lock your doors. You better be careful. Danger, love at work. It's that old familiar story. When you think that night is glorious, love will stop. So don't you think that you're too smart for? You slip and fall. And, and you're gonna, gonna break, boom, boom, your Are you satisfied with your good deed? You got a poor but worthy young man his job back. Yes, I'm satisfied. Henry, Henry, how much does that job pay? Thirty bucks a week, why? And you support your poor old mother on that? Well, uh, how do you ask? Oh, I'm just curious. You know, I want to thank you for helping me out. And, uh, I'd like to apologize for any cracks I made about your family. They're all right. You're all right, too. Oh, there's something else I want to want to say. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I want to thank you. Oh, and... Henry. Oh, Henry. Henry, I think it's wonderful for a young couple to start out poor and wind up being rich, don't you? Yeah, but uh, do you think it's safe marrying a poor man? Oh, I don't have it any other way. I want to fight shoulder to shoulder with you, even if my family has got a lot of money. And of course, you've seen me at my worst, so you really must love me. I do look awful, don't I? I'll say. Oh, I do, do I? Well, I suppose a permanent wave is more important to you than a loving heart. Well, uh... And I suppose a Chanel gown is more important to you than a sincere soul. What are you talking about? Well, it wasn't very nice of you. Oh, you got me mixed up. What did I say that was wrong? Well, first you proposed to me, and then you tell me I look awful. I did no such thing. You did, too. All right, then I apologize. All right, you'll forgive me. I do look terrible. <laughs> How you doing? You look wonderful. Oh, that's what I wanted to find out if you'd lie for me, and you did. Darling, I, I think you're a little nuts.